Vintage 2022 in Montalcino, a year that will be remembered as the hottest and driest ever. Bud break occurred at the end of the first week of April, despite the spring frost of 2021 creating concerns about potentially damaged shoots. 2022 started with notable bud fertility and a flourishing of potential bunches. April was temperate yet scarce in rainfall, as was much of the rest of the spring. A significant rise in temperature, with peaks of up to 29 degrees Celsius, was recorded by mid-May. This surprising shift indicated an evolution of the season and marked the start of a new trend. After this point, high temperatures, way over the average, continued, affecting the flowering and resulting in small and loose bunches. Given the persistence of above-average climatic conditions, the season was accelerated one month in advance. The colors of the Montalcino landscape underlined this unique situation. In addition to the hot and dry season, Vintage 2022 featured an impressive light intensity that reduced the photosynthetic performances of the vines and caused premature senescence of the leaves that in turn allowed a non-excessive alcohol potential at harvest. The strongly anisohydric attitude of the Sangiovese variety made it possible to withstand such intense light, thermal, and water stress. Montalcino's vintners did their part to mitigate a severe situation through a combination of the following tactics. Keeping high organic matter in the soil, working the topsoil to break capillarity, protecting the canopy via sunscreen treatments, using highly effective forecast systems to act promptly in the vineyards. Some used irrigation, once defined as emergency irrigation, but today more accurately seen as quality irrigation for grapes and vines well-being. By the third week of July, there were more than 30 days with maximum temperatures over 35 degrees Celsius. There was a serious fear of the outcome of the harvest. Finally, on 28 July, 2, 16, and 18 August, the rains arrived totaling 130 millimeters, a decisive event of overturning the outcome of a dreaded forecast for the vintage, favoring a drop in daytime temperatures and considerable nighttime temperature variations which in the following weeks allowed the plants to rebalance the parameters of the fruit. The harvest was inevitably anticipated and almost ended in the last week of September, just before a further 220 millimeters of rainfall. The precautions taken in the countryside were found in vineyards that at the time of harvest were green, balanced, and did not show signs of excessive stress. Yields were in line with the past two years. The resulting grapes are rich in polyphenols and interesting at an aromatic level. Certainly, a vintage that needed to be managed with gentleness in the extraction and restrained in the use of oak in the winery. Overall, 2022 can be said to be a year that has given and taught a lot to the Appalachian.